Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0IQJ. So I've got a little picture in picture, I'm doing a screen recording. And the radio we've got here is the Anytone, I think it's an 868. Now, up until now, I've not really mucked around with this Anytone radio on a computer because I thought you needed Windows to program it. But I found a program online, it's called QDMR, which allows you to program the radio via Linux. So let's have a look at the program. So if we go into our terminal first, and we'll go, I've already got terminal open there. And we're typing ls usb you'll see here it doesn't list anything to do with com ports at all this is linux foundation silicone radio bluetooth dongle uh, zoom handy recorder and linux root hub and so on if i turn the radio on and we clear the screen and then we're doing ls usb when the radio is booted press enter you'll see here we've got a gdm Microelectronics GD32 virtual COM port driver in FS mode. Now I tried this program with the prolific cables, didn't want to know. I tried it with the CH341 cables, it still didn't want to know. So I tried it with just this cable on the off chance and it worked no problems. And you'll find QDMR in your uh, software center, so software manager. And I'm using Mint 22, so QDMR. Now, if we run QDMR for the first time, you'll see this screen appear, and you've got all the icons at the top here where you can create yourself a new code plug. You can import code plug and config files. You can save the config file, code plug as a config file. You can search for your radio. You can then verify the contents of code plug with kits radios. You can read the code plug from the radio, upload the code plug to the radio, and so on. If we press on help and press about, and you click on supported radios, you'll see here it supports the Anytones. So, uh, 578UV, right up to 878UV2. You've got supports Bayer thing. It supports the BTEC. Uh, the GD77. Open RTX. Radio Oddity. Retivis. It also supports the uh, TYT. So, I want to try it on my MD380 uh, clone radio. A routine radio and see if it re reads it from in this program. So the first thing you want to do is try and find the radio. So you can either press devices and you can go detect or just press the magnifying glass. We're going to press the magnifying glass and you'll see there the radio has now gone into PC mode and it says found any tone to say UV. Press the OK button and what we want to do now is want to read the code plug. So we're going to read code plug and get it to radio and it will take a few seconds, you see the bar down the bottom of the progress bar and the post computer now says, or the radio now says PC read. And it will take a few seconds to read the code plug on the radio. It goes a bit slow and it gets about 90, 95%. Doesn't take too long. And it's read the radio. The radio now reboots. And you'll see here on the main screen, we've got our boot settings. So you've got DMR ID. I'll blank mine out. You've got radio name, so I've called it 2E0IQJ. We've got the boot uh, settings here. You can change with that. So I've got the 2E0IQJ in tone 868. And you've also got audio settings here for your mic amp. you also got your power levels, scrubs levels, and so on. That's just when the radio wants to boot. Now here you can press contacts. You can add your contacts by going add digital contact. Add DTMF contact. You can delete contacts. So if I wanted to say delete contact 1, just press there. I'm going to press delete. And it says you want to delete contact one. I'm going to say no to this one. But uh, you can say yes and it deletes it. Go on your group lists. And uh, my group list here, I've got Phoenix times slot one, Phoenix times slot two, Cluster times slot one, times slot two, and Brandmeister. Here's a list of the channels that has been added on the radio. Now, this radio was programmed by Moonraker. They rang me up when I ordered the radio and said, What's your DMRD? Gave me the ID. And it all come ready programmed. Now what we want to do is we want to add a channel. We're going to go add an analog channel. You can add digital channels, but I'll do analog. And we're going to call it uh, cube to M. And the frequency we use around here is 145.425. And the that's our frequency and the fixed frequency for 5.425. We're going to leave everything else as standard. And we're just going to go and press on OK. You'll see down the bottom here, 
There's another analog channel. Let's have another analog channel. I'm going to call it cube 70 centimeters because we use 70 centimeters around here as well. I'm going to do a 433.400. Do another one, 433.400. And we're going to press OK, leave it as standard. And you can now go onto zones. And this is all the zones it's got. It's got hotspot, 2 meter simplex, 70 centimeter simplex, and so on. But I find trying to find stuff for this radio can be a bit of a pain. So if I go to add zone, and we're going to call it local. And we're going to add a channel. Should go right the way down. We should see cube 2 m and press OK. We're going to go add. We're going to add another channel. And we're going to do cube. 70 centimeter add and press OK. Now down the bottom here we should have local. And there we go. Now what I want to do now is write that back to the radio. So you should be able to press the up arrow which writes the code plug to the radio. And you'll see it says PC read, now it says PC write. And it will take a few seconds to go onto the radio. And it says copying data to the radio, please wait, do not turn off or do not power off. So give it a few seconds, the radio now reboots. We should have that local uh, zone added to the radio, so let's have a check. I'm going to go to the menu, zone, and there we go, there's local, select a zone. You'll see there what we're programmed to do, we've got Cube2M. And cube 70 centimeters in local, making it a lot easier to find the simplex frequency. They can add anything you want in there, a digital frequency and analog frequency. Now, I'm still playing around with this program. I just think it's very cool that you can actually program this on a Linux machine. At last, we don't need Windows to do to do things. It's starting to get a bit better now with Amateur Radio and the Linux. If you found the video of some use, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Give this program a try. QDMR. Supports various different radios. Supports the popular ones such as Jenny Tones and the Bayer things and so on. If you have some news, give it a thumbs up, download the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ, 73s for now.